Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr and teamtennis.net, former tennis coach in France. In this video, I'm going to make a review of this racket. This is the Ed Extreme MP version 2022. Let's go. This racket is part of the Ed Extreme line, which offers fairly powerful top spin and comfortable tennis rackets. Let's give a look at the technologies we can find on this racket. First, Graphene 360 Plus. So this racket uh, still features Graphene 360 Plus, an interesting material uh, for its lightness and strength uh, to have a good energy return when hitting the ball, while at the same time having stability and comfort. Spin grommets. This technology is already present on the previous version of the Ed Extreme MP. The central grommets. Uh, of this racket are shaped to facilitate string movement and therefore access to top spin. This also promotes power. Technology very interesting concerning the access to top spin. And uh, finally, auxetic technology. This is what's new for, for this version. It corresponds to the use of a material that has a surprising property of growing larger when stretched and thinner when compressed. This material used in other areas than tennis is placed in the throat of the racket to improve the feel of the game and provide more confidence and also more comfort to the players. Before I continue for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Warehouse USA. I have a partnership with these websites and it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate links to buy there. Doing so, you will help me continue the videos I'm doing on YouTube. You can find my affiliate links in the description under the video and you can also type one of the addresses that appear directly on the video. Thank you very much. Okay guys, we continue with this Ed Extreme MP. I'm going to talk to you about my feelings on the court when I played with the racket. And first I'm going to talk about the power provided by this racket. I show you on the screen a comparison in terms of power with some of the rackets maybe you already know. So like the previous versions of the Ed Extreme MP, this version remains a rather powerful tennis racket. I had a good feel from the baseline with a little lack of control on powerful shots without topspin, but overall it was fine and I didn't make too many mistakes, but rather powerful and easy to play tennis racket. I liked the power of the racket, especially on my serve, a shot where I tend to lack power. Personally, I wouldn't have been able to play with this racket when I was younger and really in a good shape because I would have lacked too much control, but now as I'm getting older, I don't put as much energy in my shots as before. I feel I could almost play with this kind of racket. In my opinion, this racket will be interesting for players who are powerful but can control the power of the racket with topspin. Racket that can be interesting also for players who tend to lack power and ball length and are looking for a racket to help them in this area. Concerning technique, I think it's interesting for players with medium to large swings. Okay, now let's talk about spins with this racket. First, on my slice backhand, I had some good feelings. The control was correct. I'm not going to be super aggressive with this racket as I could be with a more control-oriented tennis racket, but overall, really, it was fine. And I was rather confident on that shot. Concerning top spin now, head size 645 squared centimeters, 100 squared inch, rather versatile and interesting for top spin, combined with a 16 by 19 string pattern, very versatile also, with grommets that gives the strings freedom of movement. So there is an access to top spin that is very good. The shape of the frame is rather oval, not very rounded but it's not a problem for the access to top spin that I found really excellent. Now let's talk about the maneuverability of this racket. The balance point is located at 32 centimeters unstrung, a rather neutral balance, just a bit of weight at the tip of the racket, but not much. Swing weight 322. These elements allow the racket to have a very good maneuverability with a slight head heavy feel. So the racket is not extremely head light. It has just a bit of weight at the tip of the racket, which can help for power and stability. For my one-handed back end, I would have preferred a balance a bit more towards the handle, but it was correct. Overall, my feelings were fine on my one-handed back end. It should be noted that the previous version, the Ed Graphene 360 Plus Extreme MP, 
already had a balance at 32 centimeters and it was a difference uh, from the head graphene 360 extreme mp which was balanced at 32.5 centimeters so with uh, this version and the previous head came back to a more neutral balanced compared to the graphene 360 version Okay, now let's talk about the comfort provided by this frame. I liked the comfort and the forgiveness of this racket. I liked to play with this version. There is a good vibration absorption. It's interesting to notice that the Extreme MP manages to combine an average stiffness of 66, which is interesting for comfort, with a fairly high power level. Of course, the choice of the string and its tension will play an important role in the comfort. I used a multi-filament string for my test with a tension of 23 kilograms. It helps for comfort, but even with a monofilament, in my opinion, especially with a tension that is not too high, this racket will provide a good level of comfort. Now let's make a little comparison of this racket with the Ed Extreme Tour. The Ed Extreme Tour will give less power than the Ed Extreme MP. It corresponds to rather powerful players who are looking for more control. I found the Ed Extreme Tour easier to swing than the Ed Extreme MP, despite its weight of 305 grams, but with a balance of 31.5 cm that really helps for the maneuverability. Top spin access is excellent with both rackets, slightly better with the Ed Extreme MP, and both rackets are very comfortable. Now let's make a little comparison to similar rackets. First Babola Pew Aero 23. Slightly less power in my opinion, close access to top spin, close maneuverability, a bit more comfort in my opinion with the Ed Extreme MP. Yonex Vicor 100. A little less power than this one, a little less access to top spin, but it's very correct with the Yonex. A little less head weight feel and similar level of comfort. Head speed MP, a little less powerful than this one. A little less access to top spin, but it's very correct. Head speed MP, very versatile racket. A little more maneuverable and similar level of comfort. And finally, head boom MP, similar power, I would say. Close access to top spin, but the boom MP is easier to swing, more maneuverable, lighter, and similar level of comfort. Okay, guys, let's conclude for this racket. Power, top spin, comfort for this new version. Like the previous version of the Ed Extreme MP, I found the two versions very close in terms of feelings. I would recommend this racket to players of an intermediate or advanced level who want a medium weight racket. I think maybe it's possible for sporty beginners, young players in a good shape, why not? Otherwise, it could be safer to see the Ed Extreme Team L or the Ed Extreme MPL. Players who want a racket with a good level of power, players with a modern game, power, top spin, very interesting. Players also with a versatile game, slice, flat shots, but in that case not extremely powerful. Players who want a racket that provides an easy access to top spin. Players looking for a racket with a neutral balance, just a bit of weight at the tip of the racket. Players looking for a comfortable racket. Players who like the previous version and want to update their racket without losing the feel. And finally, players who own the Ed Extreme MP version with a balance of 32.5 centimeters, who like the feel, but who would like a more head-like version. Guys, I stop here for this review. I hope it will help you if you're looking for a new tennis racket. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment. Have fun playing tennis and I see you very soon in another video. Take care. Bye bye.